Welcome to this Windows in Computer channel and this is of course a quick look at what to do if you're kind of stuck in a PC that doesn't work and that all the options that you've tried maybe are not working. So first of all, maybe your PC is working but it doesn't go well and you need to have a way of re reinstalling or resetting the PC. So one of the first options you might go to is um, here, recovery and the Windows updates and click the uh, get started in the recovery or for reset this PC or you went to the advanced startup mode and you click the restart now button which brings you typically to this menu where you choose an option as to you know how to um, you want to reinstall Windows or maybe try to find a way to do a system restore but it says no restore points you start all the options and it just you know goes on and on and seems to be stuck in the loop for hours and doesn't seem to do anything um, yeah that happens and what do you have to do when that happens what are the options that are available well here's the thing if your PC still can go on the internet and do something well what you'll have to do if there's no available option that actually works in resetting your PC it will be to do a, a simply a, a reinstall from a, a media a USB thumb drive, um, a DVD of Windows. Now you'll have to go to this website which is the Microsoft download for the uh, Windows 10 version. You click the uh, you can click the update now button or if nothing really works you might need to do a clean install from uh, the boot media then you'll need to have uh, the creation media creation tool uh, which is right here. The uh, media creation tool will let you do a bootable USB or DVD drive as you'll download the image if you want and you'll be able to boot from that that's your available option <clears throat> when pretty much everything else fails usually this option is the one that will work uh, you might need to do a complete reinstall of Windows 10 at that point unfortunately these happen and sometimes that's what uh, is going on um, so whatever option you're using um, when you get stuck into a I can't restore anymore um, I can't do anything well you'll have to do this now you might say oh but my PC isn't working and it's the only one I've got yeah you'll have to unfortunately ask a friend or um, you know use another PC of somebody else to go to this page and download the media creation tool create a USB thumb drive or DVD and then you'll use it on your own PC to reinstall Windows. You need to, of course, make sure that you choose the correct version of Windows 10, the same one that you had on your PC. And uh, if you see brand PC, by the way, an Acer, a Toshiba, or uh, a Dell, look at the instructions uh, because um, you might find that uh, when you look at the documentation online on the website, it's going to tell you that you may have a F key that you can press at the startup that will start a um, factory default process that exists in many many brand computers so um, no system restore possible no um, you know reset the reset this PC doesn't work or if you go to the uh, different options to try to you know troubleshoot your computer nothing works well the uh, best option is to create yourself any uh, media creation um, a DVD or a USB drive that you'll boot from and from there you'll be able to uh, reinstall Windows 10 on that computer. Uh, well you'll lose your data of course uh, there's always two options when you use the creation tool one is um, reinstalling but keeping the files you can try that option and if it works cool if it doesn't um, well, here's the thing, you might need to actually do a clean install in which you will have to reformat the hard drive to have a, really a clean install with nothing else because sometimes something that you have in your system might be breaking uh, or preventing Windows from working correctly. If that is the case, then you might need to do a clean install and format the drive. If you have important stuff on it, first of all, the question you need to ask yourself is why don't you have a backup? backup is not something that you think at the last minute everybody should have a backup of the important files and if you don't have a backup well there are options out there you can use tools with um, you know some um, there are some hardware plug your hard drive in another, on another PC and extract the important stuff before you actually do a clean install and so on 
but uh, you should always have a backup of the important stuff so that if something like this happens, you have no, you know, there won't be any problems. You'll just reinstall and that's it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.